Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I got an interesting topic I want to talk to you all about asbestos. Okay, so I understand this isn't about crawl spaces or waterproofing or things like that, but we deal with a lot of older homes and sometimes we come across materials where people are like, is that asbestos? So I want to get into that. So stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to indoor air pollution, crawl space encapsulation, basement waterproofing. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunities. First of all, let's describe what is asbestos, okay? So asbestos is mineral fiber that occurs in rock and soil. I found that to be very, very interesting. And the reason why uh, many people used asbestos was because it is apparently very, very strong and heat resistant. That was the primary reason for using asbestos in construction, whether it was building ships, uh, like when I was in the Navy, the USS John F. Kennedy, I was stationed on board there in the 90s. It had a lot of asbestos in it. There's, uh, there's different types of materials that use asbestos, but basically it was to prevent heat transfer and also uh, it's very, very strong. So it made materials stronger uh, so it's found in a lot of insulation and different things like that. So let's get into when was asbestos used. Basically, asbestos was started to be used in construction in the 20th century, and it peaked in the 1960s, all right? So they began to phase it out in the 70s, but apparently it took them a long time to phase it out because even in 1973, they used 813,000 metric tons of asbestos in construction materials. All right, which is pretty scary. Asbestos was mined in California all the way up until 2002. So even though they started phasing it out in the 70s, they were still mining it in 2002. I wonder where all that mined asbestos went for all those years as they were trying to phase it out. Well, you're right, it went in your house, okay? So uh, some of the places where they mined asbestos was Montana, as I mentioned, California, Arizona, Alabama, Alaska, North Carolina, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maryland, Virginia. So basically everywhere. Asbestos mines were everywhere. So if you live in certain parts of the country and your home was built between the 1920s all the way up to possibly the year 2000s, your home could have some materials in it that has asbestos in it, although the peak time of that was in the 60s and 70s. Okay, so how is asbestos harmful? Approximately 90,000 people die from asbestos exposure globally every year. Airborne asbestos occurs when materials are cut, drilled, removed, torn, or sanded during remodeling projects, okay? So removal is the biggest threat to you inhaling asbestos. If you're gonna go in and remodel your home and you have asbestos in your house, it just lying there is not the problem. It's when you start poking at it, when you start sanding it. That's when you start exposing yourself mainly to asbestos. Asbestos can cause lung cancer, obviously, but there's also another type of lung cancer called mesothelioma, which is basically a specific type of cancer uh, that uh, surrounds the lining of the lungs. Okay, it also surrounds the lining of the heart and the abdomen. So even though you're breathing in the asbestos, it can also affect the heart and the abdomen. And then of course, there's something called asbestosis, which is a non-cancer respiratory disease caused by scarring, which causes scarring inside the lungs. So uh, those are the three main health issues involved with asbestos. If you've ever watched late night television, you probably saw the attorney uh, asking for people with mes mesothelioma and uh, trying to get them to uh, call their 800 number because lawsuits are everywhere when it comes to asbestos. But keep in mind that asbestos exposure typically comes from disturbing it. So where can asbestos be found? All right, the first place is what's called vermiculite insulation. Now, here's a picture of what vermiculite insulation looks like, but, but here's the thing. I did a remodeling project many, many years ago in a commercial building, it was actually a government building, and they put this insulation inside the walls, which looked very similar to what this picture shows, okay? So just because it looks like this doesn't mean it has asbestos in it because we sent it off to a lab and it wasn't asbestos, even though it looked very similar. So the only way to know 
if the material has asbestos is by testing it. So you can't always go by how something looks, but I wanna share with you some of the things you can look for that might be red flags for asbestos. So as I mentioned, this type of insulation, which is called vermiculite, 85% of all vermiculite insulation was mined in Libby, Montana. I found that pretty interesting. Uh, there's also cement asbestos shingle siding, which was popular between 1940 and 1970. There's asbestos vinyl floor tiles, and they basically came in three sizes. I was always told, uh, you know, by the home inspectors, that's eh, nine by nine, that's asbestos. Well, again, you need to test it, uh, but the three sizes are nine by nine tiles, 12 by 12 tiles, 18 by 18 tiles installed between 1960 and 1980, although nine by nine asbestos tiles were the most popular. Okay, asbestos latent paper duck wrap. So we see that a lot in uh, crawl spaces, especially really old homes. There's some paper that they put around these ductwork, and a lot of times it has a white coating on it. I'm not saying that's asbestos, but those are one of the things you wanna look for. Uh, and then of course, have it tested if you're concerned. Uh, there's also textured paints that contain asbestos. So if you've got a house built in the 60s, 70s, or 80s with a textured paint, and of course, roofing shingles. So those are some of the common areas where you would find asbestos inside of your home. As I mentioned before, you know, you want to make sure you test the product if you're concerned that it is asbestos, but here are some of the ways you can address asbestos if you find it. By the way, I found this interesting, okay? Uh, asbestos can be removed or encapsulated or simply left alone. So that's your options. Remove it, encapsulate it, or leave it alone. And this is the interesting part. As of 2021, there are no federal regulations that ban the homeowner, you, from removing asbestos from your home, okay? So if you want to do a DIY asbestos removal project, you are allowed to do that with no federal government intervention whatsoever. But if you hire a contractor, they have to abide by the federal government regulations set forth. So you can do whatever you want inside your house, Obviously, if you're going to try to tackle asbestos on your own, make sure you uh, get your kids out, get your wife out, set up air containment, PPE, all that stuff. I'm not an asbestos removal uh, contractor. I just want to tell you that up front, but a lot of the asbestos removal has a lot to do with also how to remove mold and, and lead and different things like that. There's a lot of uh, similar things that have to be done. So if you're going to tackle that your own, make sure you do that, okay? Um, always create containment, negative air, and wear proper PPE. And according to the EPA, this is my final thought on this, asbestos containing materials that aren't damaged or, disur or disturbed are not likely to pose a health risk. Usually the best thing to leave is to leave asbestos containing materials alone if it is in good condition. For slightly damaged asbestos containing materials, sometimes the best way to deal with it is to limit access to the area and not to touch or disturb it. So I, I find that funny because who's gonna limit access to the, the area where the nine by nine tile is installed in the floor, but that's the EPA recommendation. If asbestos containing material is more than slightly damaged or if you are going to make changes in your home that might disturb it, repair or remove by a trained and accredited asbestos professional as needed, but as I mentioned before, uh, there's no regulation as of 2021 stating that you can't do it yourself. So I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. If you have asbestos or, or think you have asbestos, make sure you get it tested. Don't mess with it if, if you don't know what you're doing. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.